for everyone and in today's uh, session we will be discussing uh, the requirement of a page object model and uh, how we can implement a page object model in a playwright with the typescript project so if you go through this uh, particular project so i have uh, developed a, a login page uh, test file so the name is uh, login page dot spec dot ts and uh, here i have defined uh, some base url username and password and i here what i am doing is i am going to like uh, access the url on the browser then i'm filling the username password then clicking on the login button and then checking uh if the dashboard is visible or not so if i show you the same thing let me run the test once and px play a test in edit mode i want to so you let me run the script once okay it started running so it's opened the RMHRM and it's uh, typing the admin password. You click on the login button, it's navigated dashboard and test is passed. So imagine like uh, you in the real time, so we do not have one test file, you have a multiple test file. And uh, let's say I want to validate your uh, dashboard based some elements there. Then I will be creating one uh, dashboard dot spectra TS. So there I want to let's say I want to use this login functionality. So I, again, I need to uh, define this particular. Uh, your locators everywhere and uh, suppose i am drive, drafting another test let's say this is a one test and this is a different test okay so if tomorrow developer like uh, made some changes so i need to fix my locator from this test here and again the same thing i need to do here in the different test also imagine if you have like uh, something around uh, 50 tests in a uh, single test file so at the time the maintainability is much difficult so to overcome this issue so we are using page object model so in page object model what we do is that we basically create one class and inside that class we are defined all our locators and helper methods and whenever we want to access that particular locator so we just need to create one object of that class okay so i will show you exactly how to create an object and how to access that and this is a sample uh, i've already created one page file so for this login page i have created one login page.ts this is the one file so if you check here what i am ex so basically i am exporting a class that is called as login page so inside this login page in typescript you need to define your all your uh, locators here so this is a user input text box this is what I have created one is password text box. Similarly, I want a uh, uh, let's it be read only. I want login button. Okay. And the locator type. This would be type of locator. So how it is accepting locator? Because I am importing locator from your playwright test package. Similarly, I am also importing page because here you can see page dot get by role or page dot locator if you want to like uh, define some locator so in playwright we have to use the page so for that also i have imported this page now we need to define a constructor inside the constructor what we need to do is whatever we have created here or defined our, all our locators that we need to initialize here so two are already there one is your uh, user input box and the password input box let's do for What is left now login button okay just copy this use this squad this keyword here then login button equals here basically i will copy this locator okay this is my locator paste here so you got everything right now same fine okay now it's showing you the dashboard page so this is another one locator is there so let us add here that one also this dot let's say uh what is this dashboard text okay dashboard text and paste okay i need to define this one here also read only this type of locator okay let me format this so all your locators are now you have defined one more thing is let's say the page object concept in your either uh, your uh, playwright with typescript or playwright with javascript or in the selenium java 
everywhere we just need to create one uh, define a class and inside that class we need to you need to define uh, all your uh, locators and initialize that so now we have created our page object class now we need to utilize this in the test file so what i will do is let me copy everything here and i will create one more file for let's say test dot spec dot yes okay let me paste everything here so now what we want to do is we want to use page object model here so the same everything will be same but before you initialize your test you want to create one object of your page class so let me define uh, let login page this is our variable okay equals to not exactly equals to because type is would be login page this is a class type okay once i have defined it it's directly importing my login page okay now i have defined this now what i need to do is i want to create an object of this login page class so i will create a login page object so first we have defined one variable right login page this one is equals to view login page in the constructor we need to do pass to this page object okay so pass there page this is a page fixer as you see so now your login page is now you have initialized the constructor in your test now what you can see go to this page url now i want to enter my username then password and login so here we have hard coded the values here right so we do not want to hard code here so what we can do let me remove everything we have defined this login page right so let's type await login page dot now you can see everything user input box inside user box we want to fill okay what is what we will fill our username so you have did that again same thing we will do await login page dot in the password input box we want to further fill or enter our password okay now again await login page dot now click on the login button so this is your login button locator is the dot click oh, await expect okay or now we want to expect that that login the display is visible or not so we have defined in the login page class that right dot dashboard text we have defined that this one okay this particular locator now dot to be visible so to be visible save it okay now we want to run this use your dot only it will run okay let me execute the script okay let's uh, open your browser now username is entered password is entered click on login button that's what is visible so your test is passed so this is the one way right you can uh, define your uh, create your page object files and you can utilize in the test but one more thing is there if you want to like in real time you have multiple tests so every test if you want to like uh, initialize your uh, page object class so that will not be better to use uh, before test dot before each inside the before each we just need to type async define their one arrow function okay inside that you define this particular thing you need to create a object then go to this url this also you define here okay now here in the test file everywhere you do not require to use this page fixer remove that and use that page fixer in the before each okay so by this way you can have multiple tests and you do not require to define the page fixer in every test before each will can handle everything save it let me run again it's uh, loaded credentials are entering 
then it will log in and it will pass. So, in case of your player with TypeScript, this is enough. But one way is that you are currently creating this object in the before each. But uh, if you are using any uh, player with JavaScript, so at that time you may require to create one page object manager page. So that page, what we'll do is whatever you are creating this uh, particular uh, object of a login page here so that will be created there so basically we will define a method there if you call that method let's say a get login page method i will call in a get login page method so at the time that method will insert the method to initialize your login page and it will return you this login page variable so that's it all these codes i will be uploaded and given you in the pin comment And thanks for watching.